Hello everyone, we're here to use the Windows Disk Management Utility inside of our Windows 10 operating system. To get started, I'm going to right click on our Windows icon. I'm going to click on Disk Management. This will open the exact tool that we need, which is our Disk Management Utility, in order to customize our physical disks on our machine. Now, in this tool, we get a lot of options. We can see the drive status. We can see what type of file system we're using. We can even extend partitions to make them larger, split partitions to make more partitions, even assign drive letters like C, X, and more. On top of that, when we add in new physical drives into our machine, they will appear in this list. Then we can format them and get them up and running for use. So for us to get started, what we're going to do here is take a look at our current hard drive. My current hard drive is disk zero, which is a 40 gig drive. Up at the top, I can see that we see it's the C drive, and with our C drive, we have 25 gigs almost of free space. Now, if I wanted to create a second partition using this tool, I can right click on our C drive, and I get options here. I'm able to shrink the volume. By shrinking the volume, that's going to allow us to create another separate logical partition of this physical hard drive. I can go ahead and click on shrink volume, it will query the current drive to verify the amount of free space that's there. And then it's going to allow me to pull out of that free space. As we mentioned before, there's about 25 gigs of free space. This is it right here. I can custom choose how much free space of the current drive that I want to use in a new logical drive, which is another partition. Let's say I want to go with about a 10 gig drive. I can put in my 10,240 megs, and I'll go ahead and click Shrink. And what's going to happen is we're going to take 10,000 megs, which is 10 gigabytes of space, out of that current free space on that C drive. When we do that, I'll get a new partition popping up, and that says there's a 10 gigabyte free space unallocated sitting on the side. Also, what you see is on the C drive up here, we went from 25 gigs of free space, now down to 15, because that other 10 is now right here. So what can I do with this free space? I can right click on it, and this is where I can create a new volume, which is going to be another logical partition for me to have inside of my disk area. To show off what's about to happen, I can open up a file explorer, and in my file explorer, I can click on this PC. Right now I have my C drive, which is my hard drive with my data, and then I have my DVD optical drive. What we're about to do is create a new drive, and this is based off of the physical disk zero, but the second partition. So I'm going to right click on this new unallocated space. I'll click on new simple volume. I'll go ahead and click next. I'm going to use the entire 10 gigs of unallocated space. And then I can give it a drive letter. How about we make this the X drive? With the letter being assigned to the X drive, we now get to choose the file system. The NTFS file system allows us to have larger sized files, as well as security with permissions and compression. So we're going to keep that. If I wanted to change the label of this, which we can put as backup drive or file drive or you name it, we can put it there. Also, we can leave the default of quick format. Quick format skips the checking of bad sectors when you do formatting. We're going to leave that on, which is the default, just for speed. I'll go ahead and click Next, and we can review our settings. And once we hit Finish, that 10 gig of unallocated space is now going to come up as the new X drive. We can verify this, that this is successful by reading at the top. We can see it's healthy, it's a 10 gig partition, 100% free. If I go back to my file explorer, check it out, you now have the X drive. So this is us working inside of our tool, but we can end it here, or let's continue on. Let's get that 10 gigs of space back to the original C partition. To do that, I can right click on that 10 gigs of used X drive space, and I can say delete volume. When I delete volume, it's going to remove all the data on the X drive and put it back into unallocated space. Be very careful. And now if I want that C drive, that one partition, to get that 10 gigs of space back, I can right click on that C drive and I can extend the volume. By extending the volume, it's going to look for that unallocated space, which it finds, the 10 gigs of space, and it's going to grab it back into the C partition. I'm going to pull the entire 10 gigs of space, as you see below, it's selected, and click Next. Once I click Finish, you're going to watch our C drive gobble up that 10 gigs of space. Our C drive now is 25 gigs of free space again. In the File Explorer, 
we have our full 40 gig hard drive for our C drive with 25 gigs free. So practice in the disk management utility, become the IT professional, and enjoy.